Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. When Jesus says, let no man deceive you, that includes you. What was the final, what, what was one of the final challenge for Jesus? The first challenge, remember the first temptations for Jesus? Food. Throw yourself down and bow down before me, right? But then, just before the death of the, before the death on the cross, Jesus standing before Caiaphas, religious leaders, and they're accusing him being the prince of demons. Do you understand? And when you read the Bible, Jesus, he kept his mouth. There are many times he was silent. There were times that he did speak, but there are times he knows when to completely stay quiet. And Alan G. White, Alan G. White said, it's in the book of Desire of Agents. She said, if Jesus were to give them, even with a facial expression, that he is angry, or any facial expression that he is one to kind of revenge, just to give that facial expression will be enough to have the plan of salvation as a failure. It will disqualify him to be our savior. Even just to look like, I'm going to kill you. Can you imagine? Look, look, Jesus is the creator, right? Can you imagine what he can do? Can you imagine all these people that he came to save? They are all accusing him, false teacher, false apostle, blasphemy, demon, prince of Satan. How many of you had this kind of experience before? Someone saw somebody in the church accuse you for something. And you're like, I gotta make this thing right. Yes or no? And you don't care you're angry. You don't care your blood, blood vein is getting bigger. You don't care your eyes are all red. You don't care you're using foul language. You don't care, you know, you're all like defensive, loud. You don't care because it is your innocency that you are trying to protect. How dare you to destroy my reputation, especially among Asians. So important to save your face. Yes or no? And you're like, this is a just. I have to get my justice. This is, <clears throat> God will justify this. Got to stand. Look, 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 look. Your desire for re, uh, wanting justice, no problem. Nothing wrong with the desire, but how you get it. You get it, or you let God do it for you. Can you do it with the more meek, humble, loving, controlled, sweet spirit? Or do we immediately turn to satanic characteristics to defend yourself? And let no man deceive you, not even yourself. That's why Jesus standing there, especially before King Herod, no words. Pilate, he was trying to deliver him. And I found no fault in him. Jesus is so powerful, he could have just, can you imagine? It's like Jesus is like an elephant. And those Jewish leaders were like ants. And the ants are crying, we're going to choke you to death. And he just needs to kind of 
and then all the ants would, no, excuse me, the elephant, all you need is just, and then all the ants will fly away, right? I, I have this imagination, wow, you know what Jesus, Jesus can do right then? It's like, you don't believe me, you accuse me, for, you, can, uh, you accuse me for a leader of the demons? Let me show you who I am. I am the master of the universe. I am the creator of all things. Let me show you. Look into my hand. And then Jesus can just split an atom in his hand. And he goes, <laughs> sorry, my imagination is so wild. <laughs> The atomic reaction taking place in his hand and just go, <laughs> just, just annihilate everyone. Thank God I'm not Jesus, amen? <laughs> Thank God. Thank God I'm not God. But you know how you felt before, yes or no? Come on, be honest. Don't be like, oh, I'm, I'm always holy and always nice. Always just be nice. And so we're thinking, are you saying I, have to, I need to become a doormat? I allow other people to kind of step on me? What kind of life is that? Well, Believe it or not, sometimes you've got to be a doormat. There are things that you can do, obviously. If somebody is beating you physically, don't be a doormat. Call 911, okay? Go get some help if you're really getting physically pain, okay? But sometimes verbally, we've got to be a doormat. Sometimes you've got to know when to speak, how to speak, how to say, what to say. But you just got to be in tune with God so that you know what to say, how to say. It's not just a theological doctrinal knowledge that you got to have. You got to have your spirit in connection with God so that when you are psychologically, emotionally attacked all around you, you know how to let God protect you and keep you calm, in control, in power so that the glow, the light of God can just shine this is what god is waiting for my friends if not we get all emotional again react and when after the fire is all burnt away we regret Brothers and sisters, God has given each and every one of us a gift, a talent. Are we to ask somebody, can we exercise that talent? The answer is no. God has given it to you. You need to exercise it. Why are we waiting for somebody to tell us we can do this? I don't understand. If we're waiting for somebody to give us approval to do this, do you think it would be happening? It would not be happening, saints. So it's time to move forward.